Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. So I've been getting emails from you folks telling me that you like these little quick tips, so here's another one for you. Now in the past, I've talked about shape layers and how much you can do with them using our shape tools, which you can find right up here. Now most people's experience with the shape layers start and end within the confines of this area. Maybe they'll use the rounded rectangle tool or the star tool or one of the other shapes. But what most people don't realize is that After Effects gives you the ability to create your own shapes. So what I can do is use the pen tool, which when you have no layer selected in the timeline becomes the pen shape layer tool. So I'll click on any point in my composition here and if you notice in the timeline we've now got a new shape layer and even though there's nothing visible there just this one point it's actually in the composition and we can use this to continue to create our shape so I'll continue to click drag a bit and if you notice I'm clicking and dragging and that's specifically so that I can create kind of rounded corners now you don't have to do this you could create sharp corners by just click and then click and click you know and I will connect them and close the shape and then I will select my shape layer and twirl it down and then choose the add button here and I will use the pucker and bloat effect which as you know from a previous tutorial is one of my favorite effects with the shape layers now instantly you can see that there are changes happening here there's a uh, kind of a bloating sort of thing going on but I'm going to twirl down the pucker and bloat property here in the timeline and I'll set the amount into negative numbers which gives me a nice sort of splat I don't know what you'd call this but it's an interesting shape and what I'll do is I will move the shape layer below the word zap here and now I've got something that looks a bit like the text effects you might see in a fight scene on the show Batman. Hopefully this little tip has gotten your atomic batteries to power and your turbines to speed. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Right, and, and so then the first elephant, uh -huh. he says, yeah. Yeah. No soap radio! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, those elephants, they crack me up, you know?